Hi, everybody. It's Wednesday, and we are on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer to talk about the markets. All right, Jim, how is your expectations for tax reform change, given what happened in Alabama last night? Well, I think that it just makes it so it's got to be done even faster. There's no question. I think this is a done deal. I think it will come in Monday, and we'll discover the new rates, and then we'll start digging about what we really are going to pay. It's very convoluted. Uh, expect a great time for Intuit, maybe for h and Block. Uh, it is really hard to understand. This is certainly not simplification. Uh, it's change, and change and simplification are two different things. Yeah, so much for getting the tax code on a postcard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that had been one of the things that I really wanted because uh, I hate to have to hire people to interpret every single line, but that's exactly what some of us will have to do. All right, Jim, obviously it's Fed Day. You have a great article in Real Money about bank stocks. Do you oh, want to elaborate? Thank you. Yeah, I mean, what I've been saying is that First, what you know, the presumption here uh, underlying the whole piece is, okay, uh, shouldn't we be selling the bank stocks because it's fairly likely that they can't, at least the majors, make the numbers because they were talking about declines of 15 to 20 percent in the trading line last week. That caused a big hit down. But ever since September 8th, you have had a bank rally where intervening uh, goes up because of Fed rates going up, and we do have a expected quarter point rate today increase, and then goes down on near term earnings as we hear some report about how they're not doing as well. One of the reasons why pe like, people like PNC so much, and that's been the favorite bank, and we were trying to buy it for uh, the club, is that that's the largest uh, other than USB, maybe uh, SunTrust, that do not have the trading revenue, so they're just going to give you the pure play on the rate increase uh, but this is very very important for everybody everyone has to understand that these stocks are entirely trading on the Fed funds they're not trading on the near-term earnings but when we get the earnings that will matter all right and everyone must go to realmoney.com to read more on that topic meanwhile Jim back in May you interviewed Tim Cook and he broke news about this manufacturing fund yes and what he did was say okay let's be very specific they're going to be uh, giving money to US companies uh, really to help manufacturing here and Finistar is one of those companies that's up against a lot of really good companies overseas so this may give them a leg up and I, I love it I like Tim Cook is so true to his word uh, this is exactly what has to happen in order to make it so that we are more competitive as a country. If I were the president, I would reach out today, call Tim mm -hmm. Cook and say thank you. Huh. Love that. All right, meanwhile, Jim, Bernstein out with a note saying Chipotle could be a good yeah, takeover. I, 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 uh, now, Chipotle, uh, David Faber directly asked me, do I believe in the piece? My problem with the piece is, is that Chipotle is a moving target. Uh, I have been saying that over and over again, when you have bad headlines on something having to do with food safety, it takes 18 months for people to forget that. So an opportunistic buyer could come in and say, you know what, we're six months in, and a year from now, when the deal closes, say six months from now, if you do stock, um, a year from now, people will forget. So it's not absurd. It's not absurd. Most people didn't think the Panera could get a bit. Most people didn't think the Buffalo Wild Wings could get a bit. So the, the most people didn't think that Popeyes could get a bit. And all these happened, so it's not wild to buy calls on Chipotle. Um, I, I don't like to buy, uh, the Nigerians really tell you, exact, more than anybody, which strike to buy, so to speak. But it's not insane. And I don't do the album money, it's probably expensive now. They'll be pumped up after the Bernstein call. But it's not insane to believe that Chipotle could get a bit. Right, Jim, who do you have on Mad Money tonight? Okay, Dan Hesse is an old friend of mine. I know the show is not about friends, it's about money, but he's not uh, no longer the head of Sprint. And we're talking about doing well and doing good. This is just something that I've been spending a lot more time on. It's what the millennials care about companies. They really want to know sustainability. They really want to know workplace rules. They really want to know women, men, equal pay. They really want to know who's doing well. So I am meeting the demands of the millennials who care more more about those issues than they care about the P.E. ratio. The, the um, essence of Mad Money is to try to figure out why stocks go up. If these companies that are doing this can therefore attract better talent, then it's likely going to produce much better earnings per share down the road. I mean, if you think about it, look at the talent that goes into Facebook. From when they started, they got the best talent. Therefore, they have many ways the best gross margins, the best platforms, the be best technology. And so getting the right people is hugely important for a company. 
All right, that's tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern on Mad Money. Meanwhile, Jim, anyone looking to get their portfolio in shape for next year should watch you and Ken Fisher today at 11 a.m. on the street. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of fun. I mean, Ken's going to talk about the Trump rally. I'm going to ask him about it. We'll talk about what stocks do work. We'll talk about corporate profits. We'll talk about surprises. So I think it's a must. I've been studying and studying and studying, and I am still not up to Ken's speed. He is that good. <laughs> We can't wait for that. Thank you. Now, Jim, we're going to continue the conversation behind ActionAlertsPlus.com, so please join us there.